guys, uh, welcome to Pandex Solutions. Uh, today I am here to show you a little demo on uh, ROS, that is a robotic operating system with Raspberry Pi using RP LiDAR. Okay, uh, I am having uh, Raspberry Pi 3 model B. So I inserted one SD card which is 16 GB which is booted by uh, ROS. So here I am having uh, Raspberry Pi. So first we have to connect this converter first and then I am giving supply for the Raspberry Pi. So after connecting the uh, to the network, uh, we have to identify the what is the IP address of uh, the ROS. So I am just going into the connection information. So uh, in the connection information in the blog of IP address, it shows uh, 192.168.1.12. Why? Because by using the ROS network configuration, only if uh, we know the IP address, we can able to uh, put master or slave communication on uh, ROS network. So after this uh, finding the IP address, uh, so this is the ROS window. So this is uh, also a Linux based system, uh, Linux based operating system that is uh, so that uh, it also has terminal for that I am just pressing control shift T. So it's uh, opening a separate terminal window, booted the ROS application successfully. After that uh, I am just going to show a little demo with uh, API LIDA. So I am having this RP LIDA, this is model number A1. So this is also a USB type of interface. So before that uh, they already gave uh, one converters. First I have to plug it in the converters. So it starts rotating now. So this is just for uh, interfacing one uh, LIDA with uh, ROS. So our ROS is already booted in Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry Pi also has uh, four USB ports. So uh, after other than uh, mouse and keyboard, I just uh, connected this RP LIDA to the Raspberry Pi. So uh, I'm going to launch one command, uh, which gonna launch the uh, RVS display so that uh, in the RVS display, we can uh, see the laser scan values. So this is the thing, uh, I already entered the command. So that command is always launch, rplidar, viewrplidar.launch. So first after I run the command, first it will connect with the ROS network using the IP address. And after that uh, it opens RVS display. So in this RVS display you can see that uh, some of the map is updated actually. So LIDAR is placed here at the center position. So now I am just gonna place one uh, object there so that uh, it will change the display. So here uh, it shows some object or uh, something is uh, near to the leader. So this is just a minor difference. To show the major difference uh, I gonna stand so that uh, that lasers can uh, gonna strike me so that uh, major uh, changes can be seen here. So, if you see here, uh, there is a major scan, this has can change. So I am moving around through the lidar. So just uh, for better closing, I am just pressing Ctrl C here. So it's closed successfully. So to shut down. 